look the part. Tall, bushy white hair. But the thing about him was he was so terribly shy. And though he won a Pulitzer Prize, he avoided public glory others tried to force upon him. Though he did talk to children. And today, they talk about him. He always makes them so that the kids can read them and the kids can read them. Like Have you ever seen Dr. Seuss? He started in advertising and won an Oscar in the 50s for creating Gerald McBoing Boy. But his books, they were his genius. He left ordinary pictures to the others while he drew Wizzlewolf, Yertle, and Lorax. Dr. Seuss always believed that a way to keep children reading was to capture their attention, and that he did indeed. And in all his books, there was always a lesson in life. It is a terrible tragedy that Dr. Seuss died, but we still have his books. It was his satire that got some books banned by adults worried about creatures like the Lorax who tried to save the trees. Ted Geisel died in his California home overlooking the Pacific, his wife and stepchildren close by. Geisel never had children of his own, but Dr. Seuss did. Marty McNamara, Three National News.